it's Anne. How are you? I'm here doing my Amazonia look, the next one. Now, I was getting ready to go somewhere because I got to. Every so often you're kind of stuck with a got to. Anyway, while I was trying to get ready to go somewhere, I decided to at least film the process. Of course, I screwed up. I didn't start with the very first color, which was this one. And this one is a chocolate brown called Cacao Bean. Scare me. Anyway, all I basically did was do a 7 right here with the Cacao Bean. And then I used this color, which is a purple shimmer, but I used it dry. And it's called Monsoon deep purple shimmer gorgeous color and in this case it blended in really really well with the cacao bean which has a tiny little bit of a blue and purple shimmer to it this one's got kind of gold and a little more purple in the center of my eye, I have Dangerous, which in the pan looks pretty much like a maroon. It's not. It's this. That is not maroon. And finally, in the interior corner, I used Morning Mist, which looks silver. And it's not. It's a silver lavender. So that's where we got the inside color going on. Now I tapped a little bit of the Toucan and Starbeam into the very inner corner, at which point my husband said, you look like you've got an eye infection. So I fiddled with it some more because he was positive I was going to like look like my eyes were falling out. Anyway. That's what I did this time. I've got the process that I'm going to be doing with just music of putting it on. And yes, there are different clothes when I'm putting on the eyes than there are when I'm sitting here right now. Because I was still in my nightshirt <laughs> when I put the makeup on on my eyes. Now, at the time I started with the makeup going on my eyes, I had done the cleanse and the 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 um apto skin care. See it look, it's almost gone. And then I moisturized. And and then I sunscreened. And then I put the, the, the no sweat primer on. And by the time I got finished with all those layers, I'm going, do I really want to put foundation on? How many more layers do I need? Which is when I grab the, the Elf Foundation Serum, which is really, really thin stuff. But it evens out my face color. But it stays a little sticky, especially if I've got that many layers working. I mean, I tr I, out of the Ipsy bag, we got the, yeah, juggling is not my first skill. Out of the Ipsy bag, I got the Pixie Skin Treats H2O Skin Drink Moisturizer. This stuff is like, yeah, intense. And, and I have the Super Goop um, sunscreen, a little sample sunscreen that I can't reach right now, that Pink Sweet sent me. And 
I've got like the Apto and, and then I've got the antiperspirant lotion that I use to keep from sweating all of my stuff off. Yes, th this is the, a similar thing to what um, 4F Beauty Angie uses to do the same basic thing is to keep the makeup from sweating off. I have similar issues to Angie. She's got fibro. I've got fibro. Fibro is a pain in the butt when it comes to trying to regulate your own body temperature because chronic pain will raise your temperature. And fibro is not good for helping you self-regulate. So, yeah, I... I listened to, to 4F Angie and got some of this stuff. Works like a charm. I just put it in specific places, you know, like around the hairline, across the forehead, down the nose, across the upper lip, you know, the places you usually get the real sweaty problems. And then after I've got all that, then I put this on. I just take a brush and put it on. And I'm like, how many more freaking layers do I need? Where's the powder? It's still all tacky. So I get out the loose powder and I powder everything down. And I used my Maybelline loose powder. And no, it's not the Fit Me. It's the old style in the little round box instead of the square box. And then, after I get my eyes done... And get the powder on. And then I've got the next layers. I mean, you know, bronzer and, and blusher and highlight. And depending on whether or not I'm still tacky, I like more powder. And then spritzing with, you know, a setting spray to kind of melt everything back in so that you're back to looking like skin instead of a powder. Are we sure this is really all worth it? That's a lot of steps. It really is. And, you know, then at night I've got stuff to help stop the wrinkles and serums and yeah, serums and, and goo and moisturizers and and vitamin enriched this and and acid that and it's like how did we manage to to make it before all this chemistry oh yeah lead white for white skin yeah okay We have been torturing ourselves for beauty since the beginning thereof. We really have. One of these days, I may even talk about my skincare routine because let me tell you, I am not what you would call religious about it. I'm not dedicated. I'm not even routine. I use some of the stuff. I use a lot of the stuff. But some of it just, I don't feel like being bothered sometimes. I get old and tired. What am I want? Anyway, I've got on the e.l.f. foundation serum, which is lovely stuff. We already know about the Amazonia by Face Candy. If you can find it still, it's a good palette. If you can find it still. Ever since Bad Habit and Hush went foo, Face candy's been hard to find, too. So, 
the types of colors I used would still work. It doesn't matter who makes them. I used the pearlescent pink, wet and wild blush. I used the flower, golden flower crown, wet and wild highlighter. I used Malibu Glitz Champagne for my blusher because it's still, I'm still pretty pale for this time of year. And will be for a while yet. Like I said, I've got the Picky, 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 Pixie H2O Skin Drink uh, Moisturizer on. My Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water, which is also supposed to be a setting, excuse me, setting spray. And yes, I actually did a head full of bobby pin pin curls last night because my hair was looking too flat and it's still too short for the little rollers I have. I, I don't know if some of you, you ladies of a certain age, remember the little rubber pop curlers. They used to have little tiny ones that you could do like right around the edges and they pop open and look kind of like a spool out of a sewing machine with an extra long piece on one side and you'd roll the stuff and then you'd pop that little piece and it would lay down and hold the hair in. Well, I tried to get some more of those while my hair was still shorter. And so far, the closest I've come is I found the same contraption, but the smallest one is as big around as my finger. And they're like this big. And it's like, yeah, my hair is still too short, even for the smallest ones I've been able to find. I haven't been able to find the little tiny pinky ones. Anyway. Yes, this has been a bit of a wait since Sunday. It's Friday afternoon here in Oregon. I'm sorry, I had classwork. I'm in a literature class that... They made me read Kafka. My head hurts. Anyway, it's a literature theory class. We're dissecting literature works to see what the author meant. Oh my. Mm. English degrees can be annoying in process. Anyway, I got that did. I still have a quiz to take before this coming Sunday. So, depending on how things go with this class for the eight weeks of the class, I may be a little less frequent of a flyer on YouTube. Sorry guys, school work first. Anyway, I hope you like what I did. I'll show you how to do it. Don't worry, it's coming. It'll be right after I say, be good.